Good evening and welcome to Vision of Asia, the news you can trust and events that move and celebrate our very own South Asian community. I am Pia Jyoti Khatru coming to you from our ITV Gold studio in New Jersey. In the community news today we have Jersey City Mayor Stephen Pullop recognizes the accomplishments of Hindu Americans and proclaims the month of October as Hindu Heritage Month. Indian American doctor awarded humanitarian award for COVID relief work in India and U.S. on the eve of Diwali. For the first time, Montclair Glenfield Middle School in New Jersey observes Diwali, the festival of lights. Stay with us on Vision of Asia for news in detail right after the short break. During the month of October, the Hindu community in Jersey City will collectively celebrate its heritage by focusing on its culture and the diverse spiritual traditions rooted in India. Members of the Saraswati Cultural Association were presented a proclamation in celebration of Hindu Heritage Month by the Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. In his proclamation, he said that we are honored to recognize and applaud the extraordinary accomplishments of Hindu Americans, the third largest religion in the world with 1 billion devotees worldwide and 4 million in the United States. Take a look. Today we are honored to recognize and applaud the extraordinary accomplishments of Hindu Americans. And whereas Hinduism is the third largest religion in the world with 1 billion devotees worldwide, and 4 million in the United States alone. And whereas the Hindu heritage, culture, traditions, and values provide invaluable solutions to many of life's problems and often serve as a source of inspiration, reflection, and contemplation for the millions of individuals who look to the teachings of Hinduism for guidance. And whereas during the month of October 2022, the Hindu community in Jersey City will collectively celebrate its heritage by focusing on its culture and the diverse spiritual traditions rooted in India. And whereas the city of Jersey City is proud to celebrate the annual Hindu Heritage Month and commemorate the essential contributions, sacrifices, and accomplishments that Hindu Americans have made to Jersey City. And now, therefore, be resolved that I, Stephen M. Fulop, Mayor of the City of Jersey City and the Municipal Council, do hereby proclaim this month of October 2022 as Hindu Heritage Month here in Jersey City. Yay. On the eve of Diwali, Indian American doctor Avinash Gupta was awarded the humanitarian award by Mammoth Medical Center Southern Campus for his exemplary work in public health and social service, especially for the COVID-19 related relief work in India and US. Dr. Gupta, Chief of Cardiology and President-elect of the medical staff at Mammoth Medical Center Southern Campus in New Jersey, launched a teleconsultation service that provided relief to the poor during the deadly second wave of COVID-19 in 2021 in India. He and his wife, Dr. Geeta Gupta, who hailed from Ranchi, attended to over 1,000 patients, easing the pressure on overburdened hospitals. He raised over $250,000 for medical relief in India and helped Asta, a Patna-based NGO, to establish a 10-bed COVID care center. He coordinated with other doctors to arrange medicines and send oxygen concentrators to India. He virtually attended to many distraught families in the U.S. who didn't have medical insurance and couldn't visit a medical facility during the COVID-19 lockdown. Congratulating Dr. Gupta, Council General of India, New York, Randeer Jaiswal said, he truly deserved. It is an understatement. We have seen his commitment to serving people during the pandemic and not just in U.S. but as far away as India. Dr. Gupta's service is an inspiration for many. His community leadership continues to glow. Let's watch some highlights. Of, ...of doing that. Um, I will say when I first met him, I found him to be a very humble uh, person uh, who was very well respected by everybody, both uh, as a physician, uh, as a clinician, and as a person. And definitely through COVID, um, you could see even more of the type of person he was. Um, uh, obviously, his commitment to 
Uh, his work uh, is seen at our southern campus, but also from the country where he comes from, India. Uh, he did immigrate to the United States in 1986, did his residency in internal medicine and cardiology in New York. Um, he established his practice in 1994, and he and his wife, Gita Gupta, an internist, made the southern campus their home, and they've been here ever since. But Dr. Gupta has a number of um, uh, positions that he has held and work that he has done, which I'm gonna list some of them. Uh, he established, uh, he was the past president of Mammoth Ocean chapter of the American Association of Physicians of Indian Origin. Uh, he organized uh, 50 physicians, pharmacists, and RNs uh, to assist the uh, delivery of uh, vaccines uh, in Ocean County back when no one had the ability to really receive vaccines early on in the uh, pandemic. Uh, also, Dr. Gupta and his wife provided free telemedicine during the COVID crisis uh, to thousands of patients, raising over $250,000 for medical relief, and just other examples of the life that he leads as a person and as a physician. Um, the work that he did was actually uh, seen on uh, NBC, which, is which was a tremendous program. He also is the, the founder of the Indian Culture and Community Center in Toms River. Uh, he's been married to his wife for 33 years and lives in Toms River as well. His son, um, Abhinav uh, Gupta, is a surgical resident up at Livingston, part of the RWJ system. Um, those are just uh, a few of the items uh, that, have, that I found about uh, Dr. Gupta. But I have to admit, as I was reviewing these a couple nights ago, it just said it felt somewhat empty for myself uh, to read off a number of things. So I thought I just needed to figure out, you know, how something more personal about Dr. Gupta through all his life. And so I was able to connect with one of his friends um, that has known him since he was a child. Uh, Dr. Bola Nathuram, and I got to speak to him. And I said to him, listen, uh, he's receiving this award, and if you would, would just provide me a few minutes, if I asked you two things that describe the person that he is, what would those two things be? And he paused for a minute, and he said, he's a man of determination and character, and I'll tell you two things about him. He said, where I went to school, where I met him, I lived down the street from my school, but the school was further from his house, but his parents said he wanted him to go to the school. So he walked four miles a day each way for years to attend that school. And the determination of a child at eight years old all the way up through walking literally eight miles a day to school is really the person that you're introducing uh, in a night or two. And the second thing I'll tell you is he went to America, he supported a lot of people and done a lot of programs. But about 15 years ago, he found a very, very small village in a very remote area that's extremely poor. Um, he said, it, I would imagine it reminds him of his father and where his father came from. And he established a school uh, for children that he said it probably is around four or 500 students that are there annually. He visits that school two times a year and he, he and his wife fund that school 100% financially, and he has done so over the last 15 years. So he said, that's the person that you're introducing for this award. And so with that, that kind of nailed it for me, uh, that that's where the determination comes for a small child to do what he did just to attend the school for his education. And not only all these items that I read earlier, but when you look at what he quietly does back at, at, at a, in a small village in India, shows the type of character that he has and the willingness to help others. And although I've been here for a short time, you can see that myself and everyone else that knows him are the recipients of a person of that great character. So I am honored if you would come up with your wife, Dr. Gupta. Whoa! <laughs>
Good evening, my family. I would like to thank uh, Manwath Medical Center Southern Campus Foundation for considering me worthy of this honor. Tonight, I share this award with many who helped me on the way, along the way, and contributed to this proud moment in my life. My wife, Dr. Gita Gupta, and our son, Dr. Abhina Gupta, have been the founding, have been the driving forces behind my hard work, and I would like to thank them for standing by me through thick and thin. Thank you, Gita, my family, my friends. For the first time on October 21st, Montclair Glenfield Middle School in New Jersey observed Diwali and learning why and how Diwali is celebrated. Diwali Assembly Program was organized by Saraswati Cultural Organization under the leadership of their founder, President Mrs. Anita Chadha. Dance performances were done by Malika and Purvi. Glenfield students, administrators and faculty participated in Interactive Bangra, led by SCA President Mrs. Chadha and Malika. Entire school lit the candles in observation of Diwali. Take a look. For Hindus, Sikhs, and Jains. And whereas each faith that celebrates this holiday connects it with different religious meaning and rituals that are important to their community. And whereas the festival of Diwali celebrates and symbolizes the theme of light, goodness, and wisdom. And whereas Diwali, which falls on the last day of the month in the lunar calendar, is celebrated as the beginning of the new year for many Hindus, where Diwali is the day Rama, Sita, Lakshman, and Hanuman reach Ayodhya after 14 years in exile. And whereas for Sikhs, Diwali is referred to as Bandi Chor Diwas in Punjabi, which translates to Prisoner Liberation Day. As the sixth founding Sikh Guru, or revered teacher, Guru Hargobindji was released from captivity from the ruling Mughal Emperor Jahangir and took 52 political prisoners to freedom along with him. And whereas for James, Diwali marks the anniversary of attainment of Moksha, or liberation by Mahavira, the last of the Gurus, who were the great teachers of Jain Dharma at the end of his life in 527 BC. Whereas celebrants of Diwali are diverse in their faith, but unified in promoting tolerance, compassion, and love. And whereas the Garden State is honored to recognize and celebrate this festive holiday, now therefore I, Philip D. Murphy, Governor of State of New Jersey, do hereby recognize the celebration of Diwali in New Jersey.
right now with our light. You can just quiet down. If you have a light, please light it now. And from the news on entertainment at ITV Gold, enjoy family movie night this Friday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Watch Subhash Guy's action thriller, Kaldayak. Watch Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern, Nagesh Kukunur's sports drama, The Iqbal. And book your blockbuster Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern for rom-com, Dil Jangli. And that's a wrap on Vision of Asia tonight. You can send us your suggestions and community news that you would like us to cover for our print and television coverage at events at itvgold.com. Or you can also send it to me at pia at itvgold.com. Follow us on our Facebook handle at itvgold. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and pick up a free copy of Desi Talk if you're in the tri-state or in the Chicago area for community news, entertainment, and events in U.S. You can also read the News India Times newspaper online at www.newsindiatimes.com or subscribe to the hard copy by calling 212-675-7515. This is Pia Jyoti Khachru signing off.